Oh, all right, I was uh, just uh, uh, charging up a heap of batteries in a solar bank, I was just testing, and uh, I was coming down to the basement, and I figured <laughs> something's smelling funny around here, and I've got this uh, five-way banana plug splitter, uh, which I used to just uh, parallel everything up and use one big charger, and I just cranked the charger to get <laughs> a bit more current out, and, uh, and I'm not sure if you can see this very well, but that plug, uh, has gotten so hot that it's actually melt of a plastic case and it's just uh, entirely loose now <laughs> and uh, yeah everything is very hot to the touch I've turned it down now obviously but uh, that was about to go very bad and uh, since I've got you know one roughly 30 amp charger and uh, uh, four a pretty big batteries uh, connected up here. This were to come loose and shot out, that'd be a mighty big bang and uh, quite a bit of insulation going on fire. Uh, it should be going through some fuses, I think, but I'm not certain. But, <laughs> yeah, these cheap Chinese plugs, you really need to uh, make sure they clean this uh, the issue. I I've been aware of this issue for some time. Ouch. Oh. Oh. Well, okay, so the issue hasn't been that uh, there's high resistance uh, between the banana plug and the uh, actual plug socket, which has been very common with this, but uh, yeah, the issue is that this particular plug it doesn't seem to be correctly manufactured, because it just came apart. Well, there you go, that's your problem right there. Wow, oh, uh, yeah, that's really melted. Really melted and horrid. Huh. Yeah, the way they make these plugs is they just have this... Uh, they're, they're made out of two parts of... Uh, two pieces of metal and you have this... Uh, wire connecting part which is in my hand now and... The actual plug part and they, 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 they seem to be just... Uh, pressed together. And that's come apart. That's, that's been quite considerable resistance in that, probably like an ohm or something. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to do something about that because that's not going to hold up. I have actually soldered these two parts together in the past because I had had this uh, happen before. But every time I make these uh, banana plug cables, I've taken the effort to check that they are properly secured. And uh, curiously, I've used this cable for a very long time. It's my only two meter banana plug wire, so yeah, I'm very surprised that it would come apart today. Oh well, <laughs> you'll live and you learn. Oh, I've just got to figure out a way to get that out of there. Hmm. Oh well. Well, just took the entire cable assembly out, and uh, this is definitely an issue with the. A connection between the two parts of the cheap Chinese banana plug because this is the other end of the cable which is actually going into a quite proper gold plated connector so the connection resistance between the plug and the connector should be very low I've never had any issue with these before but if we actually have a bit of a closer look at the plugs you can see that they have melted and you can see that they're starting to come apart slightly Especially the black one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fill this part up with solder and hope that it uh, flows in there, and that should uh, keep it up, keep it together uh, for the foreseeable future. Even more soldering to do on these. As you can see, I've already soldered the this uh, slidey bit together with the uh, tip there to uh, because else you get to very high resistance be between the slidey bit and the center of the actual plug. And that's quite important if you want to take any more than a couple of amps through these. And I actually have to replace one of the plugs since uh, the worst condition one I actually used a bit too much solder on. So, uh, as you might be able to tell if it'll get in focus, there's tin into the little springy parts and uh, that just prevents it from making very good contact 
uh, with the plug. So I'm just going to make a new one, and it's a lot easier to actually tin these uh, uh, before you put the case on, since you can just get in with the iron like this. The trick is really to just uh, not use more solder than you need to, because you just want to heat up the uh, heat up the entire thing and get just enough solder in there to uh, make a joint and. Uh, it's all the joint between the uh, layers of metal, which uh, is important. You don't really need anything exterior. So you just got to take it slow, see if it wicks in, and uh, stop before it starts uh, creeping in there. Like so. Oh wow, I just removed the uh, broken plug and uh, just look at that melting there. The screw was all fused into the plastic. But above all, just look at the colour of a copper of, uh, of the wiring. It's turned into the same colour as my shirt. And this is not a copper coloured shirt. That has run so hot. <laughs> That's insane. This must have been like a couple of hundred degrees. Wow. And if it connect it up and give it the same unfavorable treatment, yeah, I think my connection block has suffered some damage because that's running a bit unnecessarily hot. I'm going to turn that off now. Yeah, so in light of that, I bit the bullet and actually took the time to assemble a new Molzer splitter, this time with an extra channel. Uh, so the way I make this is real simple, as you can see it's just a row of banana plugs with uh, some 2.5 square millimeter installation wire wrapped between them and soldered together. And I figured since everyone keeps asking me uh, for so showing soldering in videos, here you go. There you go, one soldered together and assembled. HP laptop charger. Alright, I just put the new splitter in use and uh, this is the old one which melted. And uh, having a look at this, it, uh, it seems that uh, it's had numerous uh, overheating issues over time. This plug here has certainly had a bit of a meltdown and uh, this one over here uh, has a few little cracks running along the plastic part uh, this of course on top of the one that uh, uh, melted completely today which is uh, sitting entirely loose in the case and can be rotated quite freely if you try to so hmm, yeah I'm not I know that uh, this particular device has had an issue with the contact resistance on these plugs because as, as you can see they're just a little cheap uh, thin metal inserts and these are not gold plated so they have a tendency to oxidize ever so slightly giving you high contact resistance and then you have meltage like that uh, so yeah this thing is going to be retired down to low current use and uh, I guess I'll learn my lesson so thank you for watching hope you don't make the same mistake cheerio